Good morning. Good morning. Good blessed Friday morning. It is time for the word for today. Let's get started. Psalms 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Promises of protection. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in Him I will trust. Okay, let's go to the word for today. Friday, January the 10th. The scripture reference is Proverbs 23, 23. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Never compromise your character and convictions. In the early 1970s, the Iraqi government arrested a group of American students on trumped-up espionage charges. In order to elicit admissions of guilt, they tortured them. They were told that if they confessed they were spies, they would go free. In other words, compromise the truth, admit to a lie. One by one, as the pressures and the pain mounted, they all confessed to crimes they had not committed, except for one student. The torture intensified, and the loneliness of isolation became unbearable, and he came close to breaking, but he didn't. Finally, they announced that they were finished with his case and that he could simply confess or die. A confession lay before him as they raised a pistol to his head cocked the hammer, and started the countdown. He had heard executions from his cell and knew what his captors were capable of. Sign your name, he was told, and you will live, but he refused. He closed his eyes, grimaced, and prepared to die. They pulled the trigger. When he heard the click, he thought he was dead. The gun, however, had not been loaded, the student was eventually released, but he discovered afterward that every other prisoner who had confessed was hanged in the public square. He was the only survivor. That day, he learned a valuable lesson about facing tough times. Compromise represents a far greater risk than courage. So the threefold word for you today is, number one, it is always right to do right. Number two, it is never wrong to do right. And number three, it is never right to do wrong. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Never compromise your character and convictions. Okay, that's a valuable, valuable lesson there. I hope that you enjoyed the word for today. Share it with your family and share it with your co-workers and your community. Thank you and hope you're going to have a beautiful and wonderful and super blessed day. And like I always say, don't waste a second, a minute, or an hour of your day without telling God that you love him and you appreciate him. And he certainly does protect us, especially when we tell the truth and live in our truth. All right. Be blessed. Have a wonderful and awesome weekend.